right, so the fog lights are in. They look really good. I like them. I tried to buy Chinese ones, but they're just plastic and uh, they feel like garbage. So these are glass. So I'll put the front lip on next and then uh, put this on the car. So for the lip, I did use the uh, knockoff one. And I actually prefer the knockoff ones because they're made of an ABS, which is really flexible. Uh, the OE ones, I don't know what they're made of, but they crack if you hit something with them. These cheap ones, they're like 70 bucks, and I have ripped them off in snowbanks. I've, ridden, uh, I've driven over them, and uh, they just kind of survive everything. And, you know, they look good enough for me, so that's what I'm using. One thing about uh, pretty much all the lips, BMW, Chinese, whatever, is uh, the BMW clips leave a gap between the lip and the body. So I remove the clips and instead I use uh, stainless M6 nuts and bolts. And that puts it snug up against the valence. Really can't be gold on green. So I'm putting the bumper cover on, but I'm not putting the trim on because the bumper still needs some paint correction done to it. So I'm just putting it on to kind of get it out of my way.
I don't really want to put this stuff on right now, but I want to get the car on the ground so I can roll it. Um, so for the front end, I guess I'll start with the hubs, our E36 hubs uh, that I re-drilled to 5x112 so I could run the wheels I want. I had to buy um, aftermarket hubs that were thick enough because the OEM hubs are thin where there aren't bolt holes. Um, then I'm using a reinforced subframe, a Dynan front sway bar, manual steering rack, uh, Brembo blank, blank rotors, which I also redrilled. I believe these are E36 M3 arms. I'm not totally sure on that. I don't really remember. And then SRS uh, control arm bushings. And then for suspension, I'm working with ISC. They're a local company. Um, they've been really great. They're helping me with testing out different uh, spring rates in the rear because there's going to be so much weight of the batteries, it's hard for me to determine what to use. But the uh, green and gold theme carries throughout them onto the car, which I'm pretty stoked about.
these clips keep shattering on me. I'm gonna try some grease, see if that helps.
All right, so this trim and the gutter trim um, holding off on because I am trying to powder coat them to match all the other black. Or I might just buy shadow line trim uh, from the dealer, but for now I'm just going to leave it. I tried my best to capture this, but uh, my tripod's not tall enough. The sunroof I'm using is a glass aftermarket one. But, uh, they're kind of rare, so it's a little nerve-wracking installing. There it is. So the original BMW windshields are Pilkington. Uh, nowadays you can't get that, they don't make them anymore. But uh, Trival is a, uh, they're owned by Pilkington. Uh, they're a little bit thinner than original glass, but they're the best you're gonna get. For headlights, I'm using a brand new set of uh, Depot headlights. I'm not too uh, worried about the quality. I think they're uh, pretty good for what they are. Um, and then I printed a uh, adapter here. So this is a carbon fiber nylon with an aluminum insert. Um, and this is running a Morimoto MLED 2.0. Um, so it's a high beam and low beam in one. But they're supposed to be really good. I think, uh, I, think I paid $500 just for the, the drivers in there. Yeah, rest of the clips on and call it good. 
I'm gonna go with black kidney grills for now, just cause uh, that's what I have. I'll do the other lights with their grill, and then uh, put the tail lights in. This light I was uh, playing around with ideas of what I wanna do with the high beam that's not being used anymore. This LED X in there. That looked kind of neat, but it's really hard to modify the front end of an E30 without it looking immediately tacky. So I don't think it's going to work out. The hood kind of terrifies me, just because uh, I put so much work into the paint, I don't want to fuck it up. So I did end up paint correcting the bumper. Now I'm going to put on the trim, doing a Euro trim so it doesn't have uh, side markers. I think that'll pretty much do it for now. The only things left are put the mirrors on, door handles, uh, rear window, but I'm holding off on that so I can work on the rear shelf. Uh, and then side skirts on this side. And the gutter trim. But overall the outside is pretty much complete.